Thank you, folks. <clears throat> so when last spring and showed us, uh, we had lunch uh, uh, last spring, and she said, I'd like you to do a next year's performance for the group. And I was obviously delighted. And so we talked about talked about works, and I suggested the Beethoven Mass in C, and she immediately said yes. Um, <laughs> and I suggested because, first of all, I think it's a great work. Secondly, um, uh, it's not done very often. I mean, when you think of Beethoven, you think of the Beast of Salamis, you know, or the Ninth Symphony. Uh, or you know, a lot of other things. But uh, the, the, somehow the, the, the C major mass has gotten, uh, maybe it's overshadowed with the Mises Salamis, I don't know. But I think it's a powerful work. And there's certainly harbing, harbinger, harbingers of the Mises Salamis in that ha having to do mostly with the incredible expressive range of Vader. And, and this for almost everybody, you know, sometimes takes us out of our comfort zone because the, the, it's just the range is just huge. Uh, and so, and even in this piece, they're posted you know, where the, the sudden shifts in dynamic and and and, and harmonic structure uh, suddenly, oh, and then especially syncopation all over the all over, throughout the work. Syncopation is obviously the core of this incredible sort of expressive power of Beethoven. Um, uh, I think you all have the markings. I hope you do, and I certainly want to thank. Uh, the, uh, oh, and I should say, I also should say, it's, it's the first time that I got to make music with my sister. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to have that opportunity. And I guess my sister is one of the librarians, among other things, so I was a whole bunch of folks were enlisted to, uh, to <coughs> put the markings in. And uh, just a couple words about that. There are sort of two reasons, folks. Uh, one, obviously, articulation, and that al al almost always has to do with t textual clarity and all these kinds of things, and punctuation, and so on and so forth. But then also, in certain places, to, to help reinforce the expressive power of a given moment. You know? And, and um, for, uh, certainly at the core, of, and this is not new to any of you, but the uh, core of, 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 of all music making is a search for meaning. And, and, and in the case of choral music, it's obviously a search for how the composer symbolizes, I like the word, symbolizes a particular text uh, with a particular musical gesture. And we'll also be talking, we'll be talking a lot about that. And you do have a literal translation. So if you don't have it in your score, please do get it in as soon as you can. And be sure that also that your markings in because we'll obviously be referring to it from time to time. And that, that becomes especially you know, important with the curious, or the glory and the credo and, and, and uh, Especially in those two, those two movies that have so much text. Um, let me just talk a little bit about the Kyrie. Um, uh, it's obviously an incredibly profound petition for help, for mercy. And what's so interesting always in composers is how, uh, how in, 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 in their setting of that text, they approach the Kyrie liaison, uh, Lord have mercy, and Christe liaison. And in the case of, of, of Beethoven, it seems to me quite clear that it begins with this very, very inward, you know, head bowed, uh, sort of in, out of abject sort of humility, this petition for mercy from from Lord, which is obviously the word for God. I'm, uh, I'm always reminded, so there's a prayer in the Episcopal, I hope I can refer to the Episcopal Church. <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of time at the church position, including, uh, uh, yes, including the Presbyterian Church in Greencastle, Indiana. Yeah. They didn't have a very good choir, but. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's one of the students of Paul. Anyway, but there's a wonderful, it's called the Prayer, prayer of Humble Access. And I think that's really key to this. And certainly the Kyrie is the whole approach to the to the celebration of the mass and and leading the you know the self of the uh, the congregant in, in, into that process. So, and then why does Beethoven begin with the basis? You know, and, and it seems to me, I mean I don't know. I mean we don't know. But my, my thought is that that there's this uh, that there's something almost priestly about that. And what's so interesting is that that you enter on C and that through that whole opening phrase. You, you, Continue the same seeds, you know, as we go down to the subdominant and, and so forth. So, but but certainly also it also sort of helps in a, in a certain way make the approach a little bit even more subtle, if you understand. So, now a couple of things about diction. You have a note in your score, I assume, I hope, in, in when you have internal R, internal R's, folks. 
in the case of the Kyrie, for example, the Gloria. If you can flip an R, that's great. But if you can, and most, uh, many people can, then uh, by all means use the consonant D. Kiri e gloria. Yeah. Is this something you do routinely? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So I don't even have to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, with respect to les on, I assume you're just tucking in the I right before the song, right? And we're voicing, we're voicing the S. Oh, you know everything. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have a sinking. <laughs> It used to be this way in Westminster. They finally got a music stand that worked and put my name on it. Somebody would, somebody would steal it. <laughs> I took it with me when I left. So I <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we got to breathe together. We have to. Have
quite land very old. Oh, oh. Uh, we didn't quite land. I couldn't hear the alto, especially in the middle of page eight on that A. Did you sing it? Yeah, yeah. couldn't find the. We didn't, uh, do we all have the same thing? Yeah. That, that, the, that is folks in bar 106. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could we just lead into that once and uh, maybe begin, uh, uh, maybe right on the, on the second system should be fine. Now, just stop on the entrance once, folks, and tell everybody feel secure. All right, go for something. Don't wait. As long as we can fix it. We don't wait if you're unable to find it or we're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> All right, so right on that, uh, the right on the system. And, uh... Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Now let's go back, yeah. Um, it, you know, it sounds, it sounds wonderful, folks. I, as I, what I hear and as I sort of look around the room, uh, I don't feel like, I don't feel everybody getting involved in the incredible drama of this. All of these re reiterations of Kiri and Krista and uh, are, you know, are so powerful and, 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 and the dynamic has to come from your own outcry for help. Unless it, if otherwise it's just loud and means no, nothing, you know, it sounded dreary and signifying nothing. Where that's from, but not that you make sound in Troy that doesn't signify something, you understand, but I mean, <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying, it's unless, unless you invest yourself, and this is, and I'm not saying you don't, and I'm not saying that most of you aren't, and maybe all of you are, but I just, it's something I think it's important to say, that you have to get so invested in the human impulse that drives and motivates this and every great work of art. Uh, and, and which is why it's still, and, 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 and for example, uh, you know, uh, actually you did it very well, but for example, on page, uh, do I have my score? No, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> So that's one of those perfect examples of, of the three accents where I was put them there to, to express it, to <clears throat> reinforce the expressive power of that entrance. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then similarly, and you mostly <coughs> did it, but I didn't feel, I thought you did it, I thought you put, you sang, you sang accents because I said sing accents. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, <clears throat> uh, and the same thing in the bottom page six. Um, all of those, all of those wonderful, again, <coughs> syncopated, you know, you know, is so powerful, and it's in fortissimo, you know, and, but the thing that makes it even more powerful is not that it's, you know, necessarily all that much louder, but that, it, but that you really, we really get involved in the drama of those, all those syncopations, do you understand? Hence the, hence the accents that I asked you to do, and I didn't feel like everybody, Sort of did, or if, or if you did them, you weren't, you didn't get it, you didn't get excited by the <laughs> incredible back and forth and of, of the syncopation. Uh, and uh, sopranos, uh, I mean, I'm sure you've uh, discussed with the sopranos because of the t the tessitura sometimes pretty high, not like the Misa Solemnis or not like the Nine Seventy, but uh, there are some places where I've suggested that for second sopranos. Just up down to alto with the tessitura sits up around G and so forth, you know. If <clears throat> so, be sure you do that. It wasn't a suggestion; it was a request. <laughs> <laughs> the sopranos like tenors; they're a funny bunch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know. 
Faces and altos seem to be much more. Look, I I can actually my 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 time is up, and and because uh, you know it very well and you're responding very very well, and you know part of it is just getting acquainted tonight. You kind of see me and know that I'm not an ogre, and, <laughs> and, and uh, kind of, and I get a feeling of, you know, and you respond very quickly, I thought, very to that, you know. The thing that I keep, is, is to keep avoiding this key, this kind of shrill eval, you know, that you hear every day, you know. And I hear it's a lot of, over here, especially, yeah. And, so, and just think, you know, think, ooh, all the time. But the minute the mouth goes wide, then the, then the valve, not the throat closes too. And you certainly can't sing it. Cheryl, Shelley asked, because um, uh, I, I, my time was up one minute ago. No, you have I have till 7.25, and it's 7.76. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to screw up your plan. <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> Please take your time. Yeah. No, I, I think, no, I think, I think I know where this is, and I think it's very close. You know, mostly it's just us getting acquainted and you and did dealing with some of these sound issues, you know, because it seems very secure. And so Shelley asked me if we could just run through the opening of the glory. What? So hang on. Glodia. <laughs> Glodia. Really important. Glodia. Okay. Into one, two, and no, Dia, not Ria. Dia. I really mean it. If one person goes Ria, we get that grinding sound. Yeah. Okay? I'm really serious about that. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, and. Go.
I know you're just a guest last week for the first time, but that's the temple. But you should, you know. And there are a lot of other sections like that now that are, that are incredibly challenging. But um, this is going to be great fun. Uh, and I, I guess I'm coming in two weeks to work on, well, well, tonight was not the point to work on the glory. But Shelley thought, she, and she told me that you just read through it uh, last week, and probably not up to Temple. But I thought we should. Uh, <laughs> 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 How high that mountain was. <laughs> and a lot, of, a lot of other high mountains in this piece, you know, you, higher than that one, exactly. You know. uh, uh, that, uh, but this, uh, this one will come into place very quickly, though, because it'll be glorious. And uh, I see you're doing some sectionals tonight. and. Uh, and I know, I mean, one of the things that I've heard over and over in Carol was how well Shelley teaches pieces. And uh, obviously there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of stuff in here. We have about five, a little over five weeks to master it, you know. And I know we will. Uh, but uh, uh, <clears throat> with your wonderful help uh, and spirit and, and intelligence and musicianship and everything else. So thank you for the, this evening and, and I'm looking forward to it. A lot of fun together. Mm -hmm.